One, go! And we've got robots in motion. 1058 loses their grip on that gear on the ground. Red Alliance looks like they will have the advantage if they can put the gear up into that rotor on time and they get it done. So we see at the moment 75-15, no KPA in the boiler despite the best effort of the rest of the Alliance. Blue Alliance won the last one. They are looking to move on. Red Alliance looking to stay alive, force a tiebreaker match. 2084, robots by the sea, collecting now. 1058, looking to pick up off the ground with their alliance partners side by side, 5556. Five, South Coast Corsairs as a loose bumper. Let's hope that they don't lose that during the course of this match. TJ Squared switching into high gear as they propel themselves across the neutral zone. Fuel on the floor. We'll see if that is going to be used by a team for scoring or just to cause a little bit of mayhem. Blue Alliance about to get their third rotor turning and there it goes. Red Alliance with Two rotors turning, now three rotors turning. And fuel in the air. Blue Alliance pilots shooting. They've got two KPA in the boiler so far. Could be very meaningful. All it takes is one point to win. There goes the fourth rotor for the Red Alliance. That's going to get them 100 rotor points. Let's see if Blue Alliance can finish off their fourth rotor. Looks like they're very, very close. They're going to need it if they're going to move on. And electing to climb, the Blue Alliance will have three robots in the sky. Red Alliance, three robots in the sky. That is looking decisively Red Alliance right now. We will have your official results after we complete the tabulation. And here we go. Will Blue Alliance move on, or did Red Alliance force a tiebreaker? And Red Alliance has delivered. They have forced a tiebreaker with a decisive victory here, 446 to 288.